What is up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today, Apple has released iOS 16.3 today, and even though it is not a pretty big update, I would like to show you what is brand new inside of this update anyway. So let's get started. So this is the biggest feature of iOS 16.3. If we were to go to our Apple ID right here, scroll down to passwords and security, and go down, you'll see this new option right here that says add security keys. Upon tapping it, you will notice this brand new screen right here. So what this is, it is going to require to have have a Fido certified security key to make sure that your iCloud account is safe and so that you don't need to use your phone to get a code anymore. You could just plug the security key into your phone or just use NFC. If we were to go right into here, it will ask us that we need to have two security keys. But be sure you know this, Apple will not be able to help you access your account if you lose the security key. So just make sure you have that in mind and proceed if you understand the disclaimer. So it will ask us to sign up with inactive devices next and then after that, enter our iPhone password. And then right here, it adds us to plug in the security key to our lightning port, or we could just use NFC. Currently, I have no security keys, and this is not something I really want to get into. So personally, I keep my account safe as much as possible. And now this time, if we were to go into our iCloud right here and scroll down, anyone not inside the United States, this advanced data protection feature is now available for all. So you don't need to be in the United States anymore. It's kind of weird in the first place that this was not available in other places like Canada, Mexico. Those are like the places I would expect this feature to be available in since they are like right next to the United States. Kind of weird that this was not available from the start those, but now it is available for all. The next thing has to do with our home app. So if we were to go into our home app and then go into a room with an up-to-date HomePod, for example, my room has the RC already installed. You'll notice this new thing if you have a HomePod mini, it says temperature and humidity, but now you're able to see your temperature and humidity it is just a lot more convenient now since you know all across the house we have home pods in every single room how hot or cold the room is i can't wait to take advantage of this feature even more during the summer the next thing has to do with airplanes so a home pod are just doing that so you'll notice this new prompt when you're playing music for the first time in ios 16.3 it will ask you to put your phone near a home pod and you see it's just letting up and you'll get this pop up once you're completely done with that it's just a nice quality of life update those are the only features of iOS 16.3. Real fast, here are the scores of iOS 16.2, and here are the scores of the final version of iOS 16.3. You can see that this update makes my iPhone 13 a lot faster. So therefore, you should probably update as soon as possible. Now, Apple wanted to make sure that they ironed out all of the minor issues just for the next update, which is gonna be iOS 16.4. And this is expected to be the new emoji update with a lot of brand new features as well. I appreciate you watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friend. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.